um, makes the heart beat. And uh, I know that you know a lot more. There's some trained people. But um, I'm just dealing with one mode here. Now we talk about the SA node and um, the uh, AV node and the bundle of his and the uh, bundle branches and talk coming down to the Pergunchi fibers. And we recognized and understood last week that the Pergunchi fibers represent us. We're talking about us, what role we play. And uh, these parts are, has to do with the higher order of God's uh, unity. All right, so what I want to say here is that the Pergunchi fibers here, if one of these uh, fibers is blocked, or say a few of them is blocked. Now, the heart rate and the rhythm is not affected, but what happens is that it slows the heart down. The other way, and star. Okay, what happens is that it slows the heart down. Now, if that were to happen to us if something inside of our heart were to slow us down. We would know that um, there's an obstruction and we're not able to function as swift and uh, easy as we would like to because there is an obstruction, right? So this, why I'm sharing this is because we need to understand our role in God's work. And you will understand and see that the whole, even the heart itself, the system, is salvific in itself to us. If nothing doesn't work, if it doesn't work, then there is a problem. So if we don't work, do God's work, there is a problem. We become a stumbling block. But what we should understand is that if something here doesn't work, Eventually, the heart will stop, you know. But if something doesn't work here, what the uh, muscles, what the, the whole thing has to do is to send a signal to other parts, something else, to compensate for that. And we should understand that if we stand in God's way of his work, he will bypass us and go to someone else to finish the work. And we do not want to be heard or known to be the one that... What God says to Samuel when he looked on, on, on um, Jesse's son, the old first one named the tall, handsome one, he said, don't look at him because I have refused him. I rejected him. I don't look as you look. I look on the heart, yeah. right? So here we have this understanding. I want you to understand something even more salvific about this thing here. The, the, the flow of the blood that when it comes through the, the lungs, the, you know, the oxygenated blood comes in, it comes in here through the uh, left uh, atrium into the left ventricle and then goes back through this here, the aorta. It goes out into the field. And what would be the field? What am I referring to the field in the body? What would I be referring? Anybody? What would I be referring to as the field? It goes out to work. It goes around the body, the field. It goes to work and comes back in here this part. What I'm saying about that is when we come to the church, which is the Sabbath school, the heart of the church, yes. when we come here, we are refreshed. I told you this last year when we talk about the lungs and all of that. We are refreshed. We are rejuvenated. We, we, we come to the foot of the cross and we learn and we get strength and we go out into the field, into the world to work for the Lord because he's continuously providing strength for us, right? Yes. And so, therefore, we get the strength and fresh blood goes out to work and come back. So what we do is we go out, we bring people in. They get refreshed. They get, uh, we, we do Bible study. We have fellowship. That's how we work here. And then we go out again like the blood. They just keep pumping. It keeps working. And it is said that it's a little fist. It's like a little fist. And, and all the work, and, and, I'm, and there's a ton of work going on you know, besides what I'm saying here. But when we understand how God allowed the heart to work, then we will understand our role fully in the Sabbath school and in the church. So we, the fibers, this is where you find personal ministries. The whole, the heart, 
They say it is said is the Sabbath school. The Sabbath school is the heart of the church, and the fibers are us, and that's where you find personal ministries uh, um, contracting because it helps to keep the blood pumping with other muscles and veins and all of that. So we go out to work and we bring people in, and so we teach each other and we fellowship with each other, and then we send them out again, and then we do the same cycle all over, brethren. And that is why I wanted to share this with us. And I hope we'll never look at the heart the same way we look again. And, you know, I want to say this. That okay. So I want to share with you that um, when a signal is sent, a signal is sent, it, it, um, uh, when the signal is sent here, it, is, it, it caused an electrical uh, reading, and it shows on a graph. And what is that graph? It is the electrocardiogram, or EKG. Now, doctors read that. Doctors read that to see how the heart is contracting. And if he sees that something is wrong, who is in trouble, him or the EKG? Who is in trouble? It's us. It's our heart he read on the EKG, and he, we are having a problem in our heart. So if the doctor reads that, then you're the one who is in trouble. I'm the one who is in trouble because something is happening with my heart. There's an obstruction there, and so therefore the result may not be very good. Now, I'd like to share this text with us. I want you to understand that there is a doctor, and his name is God. He has an EKG built inside of him. And I'm going to share a text with you to show you that he does read our hearts. It's taken from 2 Chronicles 16 and verse 9. I'm going to read the first part because the bottom part has something to do with a specificity that he was dealing with with war. Now, I understand that if we don't do our part, there is war in the body. But I'm going to read the first part of that text. And it says, For the eye of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of these whose heart is loyal to him. Now, when the Lord looks on our hearts and he doesn't see an obstruction, he is going to use us mightily for his work because it is not going to go void. It's, it's not coming back to him void. It is going to go and it's going to accomplish what he wills. Now, if you and I stand in that pathway and block it, he's going to bypass us until that blockage is cleared. Whatever it is we cause as a blockage in our heart or in God's work, it is on us to get source of strength to clarify it. May God bless you as we continue to worship him and work for him. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you for revealing to us these details about your work and even the workings of our heart. May we understand how sensitive these things are so we can apply ourselves unto wisdom. May we never be the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much and goodbye from Sabbath School and personal ministries. As we prepared, we, 